Today I'll be talking with you about how one can abolish acquired curse. An acquired curse is destroyed exclusively by repentance. Generational curse is something that was done by your ancestors. A spell is also something done by others from the side. But an acquired curse is something, something that we obtain through our sins and through our wrong actions. And through this, we open the door to the devil. Maybe because someone did not know, but they opened the door to Satan through sins. Maybe someone didn't even realize that in their life, when they betrayed someone, through this they opened the door to the devil. In a moment, when they possibly took someone's money, through this they opened the door to the devil. When they lied, they open the door to the devil. And in our life, everything is structured in such a way that we, in reality, are doing two things, two things that Solomon talks about. And it's written in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 5. There's a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. In our life, it is divided into these two stages, when we scatter stones and when we gather stones. An acquired curse is when you scattered bad stones. You scatter these stones, and when you'll be gathering them, you'll be bitterly weeping. But right now, I want to tell you that the Word of God teaches us that there's a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. And each one of us must deeply understand and realize that no matter what I do in my life, there will come a day when I will have to gather the stones which I have scattered. The first book of Judges Please be attentive. Verse 4. When the men of Judah attacked, the Lord gave them victory over the Canaanites and Perizzites, and they killed 10,000 enemy warriors at the town of Bezek. While at Bezek, they encountered King Adonai Bezek, and they fought against him. And the Canaanites and the Perizzites were defeated. But Adoni Bezek, the king, he escaped. But the Israelites soon captured him and cut off his thumbs and big toes. And Adoni Bezek said, I once had 70 kings with their thumbs and big toes cut off, and they were eating scraps from under my table. Now God has paid me back for what I did to them. They took him to Jerusalem, and he died there. Adoni Bezek, he was shocked, and this is recorded in the Bible. When they came, take a look. The sons of Israel came and attacked Adoni Bezek, and they captured him. And understand this, understand the situation, think about it. When they captured him, they took knives, and began to cut off his big toes and his thumbs. When they were doing this, they had no idea about what he did in his life. They did not know what Adoni Bezek had done. They did not know Adoni Bezek's history. But for some random reason, they decided to cut off specifically his big toes, and specifically his thumbs. And when they were doing it, they had no idea why they were doing it. They simply wanted to punish him using such a method. You know, there were many methods, and as you read the Bible, they punished people in different ways. They killed people and threw people under threshers, so on and so forth. But for some reason, from the thousands of options, this was the one chosen to cut off his big toes and his thumbs. And then he starts crying out, and this is recorded in the Word of God. He's crying out and saying, 70 kings, 
He begins to unfold the reason for the specific punishment. He says 70 kings with chopped off thumbs and big toes. They were crawling under my table. And he says, as I have done, God has paid me back. You know, in precision, everything that he scattered in his life, in exactness, he gathered. And today we must recognize that depending on the kind of stones that we scatter, that's the kind of stones that we will gather. The only way out of this is sincere repentance. It's to stop while there's still opportunity. It's even to be ready to gather the stones that you already scattered and never scatter them again. And I, in my life, even while being a Christian, there were times when I experienced God's punishment. And when they came, I knew that there was nothing that I could do. I said, God, I know that I've earned this. And I know that I have to go through this punishment. Right now I'm telling you about myself right before you. I had to know and realize the reason why I'm going through this. And from the beginning to end, I had to undergo the judgment, the full punishment. And I went through it knowing that there's nothing I can do about it because the time came to gather stones. The mistakes that we made when we were in the world and the mistakes we were doing being Christians, friends, we must know everything that we scatter, the day will come when we will have to gather it. And then you just say, yes, God, there's nothing I can do any longer. But these judgments and these punishments, they bring you to the condition of a very tender heart when you begin to look at life from a different angle, when you look at life and at people with great, great caution, when you understand that you can't just simply cause pain, say something hurtful, you can't simply remain ignorant, when you cannot allow harsh behavior in your life, when it's better to get hurt than to cause harm to someone else, it's better for you to get robbed than if you take something away from others, it's better to be poor than be a rich person unlawfully. Do you hear me? Because in your life the day will come, the day when you will have to gather stones. And before I continue further, I want for you to listen to this song, and so take a look at the screen. A Time to Gather Stones Шуршит резина из колейта И ты уверен, что Титаник не потонет Все чаще отвечаешь по-английски лейта И тонешь дальше в этой суетливой коме Прекрасно помни недели расписания Взглянуть назад себе мы строго запрещаем Перешагнуть несложно пешек неудобных Судьбу чужую просто за спиной оставим Сосредоточившись на мнимо важном деле Вопросы разрешаем те и эти Пока нас днями кружат эти карусели В торговых центрах Играют наши дети Покажется потом всего лишь малость Нас отделяла от того, что быть в забвении И если жизнь годами не менялась Наступит день, что эту жизнь изменит Когда все остановится от осознания правды Оно настанет Время собирать камни Ненужные растаять перед главным Когда придет Время собирать камни Перед глазами нерезкое вдруг станет явным Когда наступит Время собирать камни Мы вспомним мудрость, которую искали Когда придет Время собирать камни Узел судьбы за деньги не развяжешь Воздастся каждому, согласно его вере Баблом пытаясь выделяться в сером Пожнешь лишь только то, что и по силе. Внутри себя мы сострадание топим Перед игрой на стол фигуры расставляя Когда-то на зубок этот урок усвоив Мы тем же воздаем тем, кто нас воспитали Время разбрасывать и время собирать Приходит время созидать, за временем ломать 
хочется однажды время удирать За временем грешить придет время отвечать Как молния сверкнет, наступит трезвость И ясностью пронзит гвоздь, будто в сердце Ты от сна очнувшись отряхнешься Все изменилось, здравствуй, с днем рождения Когда все остановится от осознания правды Оно настанет время собирать камни Ненужное растает перед главным Когда придет время собирать камни Перед глазами нерезкое вдруг станет явным Когда наступит время собирать камни Мы вспомним мудрость, которую искали Когда придет время собирать камни You know, when a time comes to gather stones, then our views begin to change. Only then we begin to understand that we were wrong. We see our faults. And you know how important it is for each one of us to stop the wrong behavior in our lives. Even when you're at home, you must know you can scatter stones at home in your family. When someone is humiliating or harming their close ones, they are scattering stones. When in some moment you saw someone in need and felt an urge to give them money to help them, but it wasn't something so easy to do. The amount was hefty. It was a big price. And you said, I'm not ready. You were scattering stones. When you're indifferent about who's going to hell, and in your heart you have quenched the Holy Spirit, you are scattering stones. And Solomon says that there's such a time, you know, when you're scattering them, when you're scattering these stones, when you cause someone pain, in these moments, friends, when you're scattering stones, nothing bad is currently happening in your life. There's no evidence that you're doing something wrong. You're taking wrong actions, but in this moment, you feel as if God himself is supporting you. But listen, this is a type of season, a time to scatter stones. During this time, God does not come and rebuke you. During this time, you can be deaf to the Holy Spirit. A preacher could be bursting out in tears from the stage. And you may see how God is speaking to you from all around. But you close your heart and you scatter stones. And for some reason, you don't realize that payback exists as if God is simply far away, as if He's completely silent, as if He will never notice and respond to you. Such a time exists when a person scatters stones. They're in such a season of their life. They're in such a period where no one can tell them anything. No one can say anything because they're confident in themselves. And only when a new period comes, the page gets turned in your life. And a new time comes, a time to gather the stones. And when this time comes, the time to gather stones, you are shocked by the fact that one day, suddenly, everything in your life changes. And this happens exactly how seasons pass. The same way as when spring comes and we walk outside and wow, it's warm. In the same way, dear friends, a new season comes in your life, a season to gather stones. And then one day, suddenly, a drastic change comes, and you begin to pray. But no matter how you pray, God says, you must gather them. Because God cannot be mocked what a man sows, that he will reap. And as we're speaking about our life today, can we change the direction of our destiny? Can I change the direction in which my life events are heading? Can we literally see this? Possibly our entire life, our entire family, our ancestors, they were living one way. 
nothing changing, but can we be ambassadors of change, brothers and sisters? You know, we can change it. If we stop scattering stones of judgment, pain and suffering, we are all scattering stones. But it's wise to point out what kind of stones they are. What kind of stones are they? And as you're going through life, you can see stones are scattered all around. And you know, this is exactly how things are scattered around in your life. You scattered them. You earned this. And you start looking around thinking, oh, how interesting. Wow. This is incredible. And then you look and think, my God, a rock, a stone, and you toss it. Think about this right now, dear friend. Think, dear TV viewer, think about it. In your life, there are stones, stones that you've scattered. What kind of stones are they? What kind are they? It's interesting to see all of this. And you take a stone and toss it. Wow, what do we have here? Greed. And you scatter this greed in your life. When there was an opportunity to share, when there was an opportunity, a time to tear away from yourself and share, but you threw the stone of greed into your life. Will there come a time to gather it? Yes. And you continue looking and you think, my God, these stones. And you take another one, deceit. And you lie. And you think everything will be okay. But I'm telling you, when it's the season to scatter, nothing bad happens. When you look at these stones, wow, gambling. You love the casino. Poker. You think these things are great. And in that moment, you take dollars. And meanwhile, imagine, while other people, they're in crisis. Any moment, their heart could stop beating simply because they lacked money, money to purchase medication. Some grandmother is in tears just because she doesn't have any food. And she's sitting around and has pain inside, lots of pain. Why? For one reason, because her entire life she spent working, putting all her effort in. But you, you take a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, one hundred thousand dollars, millions of dollars. You're this cool guy. You're the stuff. Wow. You're walking around all serious, as if you're so great. But the time will come, a time to gather stones. No matter who you are, a politician, a businessman, if you're gambling, you'll end up paying a high price for it. You won't justify yourself before God in any way. Because God, He gave us money in order to feed those who are in need in order to heal those who are in need, in order to preach the gospel. And you continue looking and you think, whoa, what's here? Indifference. Indifference. And you sow this indifference. You scatter these stones. But remember, this is a season. You have to continue to look further what do we have here? What do we have here? Wow. Humiliation. And you walk around. You walk around your home and you put people down. You tell your wife that she's a nobody. 
I'm the one who makes the money. But who are you? You're ruining my life. You're nothing. I'll divorce you. You're old. I'll divorce you and marry a young girl. Because I'm a boss. I'm a king. I run things around here. And you know, when you scatter these stones, imagine. When you're saying these terrible things in your home. When you humiliate people who are near to you. You know, lightning doesn't strike you from heaven. Thunders do not touch you. God will not appear before you. If he could and would, he probably would have punched you in the face and would have shut your mouth. And this would have been great mercy. But God says no. This is not what's going to happen because I gave you the right to scatter stones. But you will also have the responsibility of gathering them. And you go further through life. And as you're walking through life, a time comes when people become so confident in themselves and their lawlessness and what they're doing in their life. And they think they can say whatever they want, they can do whatever they want, and they become so confident in this. The Bible says that people get rooted in their lawlessness and that they no longer believe that such a time will come when they will have to gather stones. But the time does come and the gathering begins. Whoa, loneliness. And loneliness comes into your life. And possibly today you think you're very cool. Maybe you're very popular. But I've seen people like this who are super cool. Even when I was very young, I already witnessed it. In the end, when suddenly, when you have played around a little too much and suddenly you end up with HIV or prostate cancer or other problems, but for some reason you remain alone. And everything that you have done when you were sinning, when you were playing around, when you were putting people down, when you went through a life and you didn't serve God, but you were serving demons. Well, I want to tell you, dear friend, the hour of payment will come. Whoa, I know that today nobody wants to hear about this. Many people want to hear lies and be convinced that the hour of repaying will not come, but it will come. A time will come to gather stones. The time will come. Pain. And you know, at some point in time, you were causing someone pain. And I'm saying this for one reason. Because in life, take a look around. Take a look at your family. Take a look at your cell group, your home group. Take a look at the people who surround you today. What are you doing? The people around you should not be experiencing pain. They should be experiencing happiness. But you'll say, Pastor, it's difficult. It's not easy to live this way. Well, that's a lie. To live with God, it's not difficult. Does anyone hear me? To scatter good stones, stones of joy and happiness, it's much easier. Many people, even Christians, they have withered, they are weak, they are demonized. They don't have a legitimate relationship with God, they lack character. When I see people who pray at prayers and walk away, doing this, I believe they are scattering stones. Scattering stones of lack of honor towards God. But right now, I want to tell you, my dear friend, consider the things in your life that you will be gathering. There are no secrets. If you had a generational curse in the name of Jesus, it is destroyed. If someone casts a spell on you in the name of Jesus, it will be abolished. But if today, with your own hands, you are scattering stones of evil, pain, suffering, if you are causing someone pain, then how will you not understand 
that there is no special secret. Simply time will pass by, the season will change, and you will be gathering stones. And when you will be gathering them, whoa, divorce. When you will be picking up these stones, you will be peeking inside, you will simply be in horror, because all this was done by you. Time. A time is coming for gathering. And when you gather, whoa, it's horror. It's a nightmare. When you gather stones, it's scary. And you know, we walk amongst these stones. We walk amongst them. And we toss them around and think, I'm different. These things won't happen to me. By causing someone pain, no one will be able to pay me back because I'm strong. No, dear friend. Everything will be much different than you expect. Ecclesiastes says that there's a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. There is no other way. 2 Samuel 21.1 Now there was a famine in the days of David for three years, year after year. And David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered, It is because of Saul and his bloodthirsty house, because he killed the Gibeonites. Friends, you see, there was a famine in the country, in the land in the days of David, year after year, for three years. And you know, many people don't even realize that gathering stones will not be a choice. And David, he's inquiring the Lord and asks, God, why is there a famine? Why am I powerless? And God answers and says, it's because of Saul and his bloodthirsty house because he killed the Gibeonites. 